So this is a video that's been going viral. The country singer Ingrid Andress went viral um, after her national anthem performance at the MLB Home Run Derby. Let's take a listen. Oh, boy. And the rock gets red glare, <laughs> the bombs <laughs> bursting in air, <laughs> gave proof through the night Jesus. that I played. <laughs> hey yo, that's so funny. It sounds like she making fun of somebody. Like, don't no, it sound like she mocking somebody? Either way, uh, after she claimed the title, the worst national anthem ever, she released a statement. She said, "I'm not gonna bore ish y'all. I was drunk last night. I'm checking oh, myself please. into a facility today to get the help mm -hmm. that I need. A that facility? Not... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to rehab just because you suck singing the national anthem." <laughs> Don't make me bring her to the front of the congregation now. Yo, she said that was not me. Yeah, that last was you. Night. I apologize to MLB, all the fans in this country. I love so much for that rendition. I'll let mm -hmm. y'all know how rehab is. Uh, I hear oh it's super God. fun. XO Ingrid. Listen, first of all, Marvin Gaye and Whitney Houston, God bless the dead, uh, two of our icons, two of our legends, they gave mm -hmm. two of the best national anthem renditions ever, and they probably was on that high octane toot. You hear me? Big cocaine. It, but, so but I don't hear about no about, alcohol. Yo, we talk about Marvin and Whitney. Are you crazy? This is Ingrid. We don't know her <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I like that she told the truth. She like, look, bitch, I was drunk. Y'all took too long to start. Man, so, please. Mm -hmm. Whitney would have bodied it drunk. <laughs> Marvin would have bodied it drunk. Don't blame it on no alcohol. Don't blame that on the alcohol now. It was just a little uh, far for her to say, I'm going to, to rehab. rehab. Yeah, after that, she got to go to rehab after that performance. That's, that's where Fergie that's... needed to go. Did Fergie go to rehab? Fergie ain't say a damn thing. Fergie said, y'all asked me to sing, and I did. Well, it yeah. is what it is. Rehab? Yes. I might so... need to, I need, think I need to bring her to the front of the congregation. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Rehab. Yeah. Going to rehab because I was terrible singing the national anthem because she sucked. Shut up. Amber Rose denies saying she's Amber not going black. to rehab. <laughs> yeah. Amber Rose said she's going to rehab. <laughs> Yo, shut up. So she recently spoke at the RNC in support of Donald Trump. That's what she had to say. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. And I believed the left wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. I realized Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> Hey, yo, it was the giggle. These are my people. This is where I belong. She said, <laughs> like, bitch, what is you talking about? Anyway, whoever ruled that for her, that was that was cute. Um, her speech received a lot of criticism for several reasons, but Joy Ann Reed's commentary stands out the most. She is a, a MSNBC correspondent. She said this. It's ironic that they were able to um, recruit this young woman. You know, she's a racially ambiguous. I don't want to say she's black because she has said she's not. So I don't want to say this black woman. But they brought somebody whose whole career is based in black culture. She was, used to be on a show on BET. That's the reason most people know who she is. She dated one of the most prominent African-American rappers in the business, in the history of hip hop. So her whole culture came from black culture, even though she says she's not a black person herself. I I don't know anyone who takes their political cues from Amber Rose, but just in case you do, you might want to duplicate doing your own research because she might not have done it thoroughly. Yeah, I don't care who uh, Amber Rose chooses to support yeah. uh, politically, but I do have a feeling that um, that, that footage of Jocelyn Hernandez mm -hmm. jumping on Amber Rose, that might leak in full. They never showed mm -hmm. it to us on uh, BET. I have a feeling that that might leak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You now. know, for, just for uh, other reasons, it yes. can't. It, it didn't air on BET, but it definitely may leak. Mm -hmm. yep. And if they hear you say that, they definitely going to leak it faster. I think it's happening. So. <laughs> what, was but, the, what, was, what was the, the footage? I don't remember. They was they on the BET Jocelyn College Duster. Hill show. Uh, they did the uh, College Hill show together, and they was in the classroom, and jo Jocelyn called her out for saying that she wasn't black, but she mm -hmm. was like, uh, Jocelyn, no, like, I, I'm biracial. She said I'm like, biracial, I'm, yeah. Yeah. And then and Jocelyn so put hands like, on her. She did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they fought. Like, Who won? For sure. It's, I, Nobody I'm not knows, sure because I didn't see, us. but. But you heard. Insiders told me, yeah, Jocelyn had to, yeah. Because it was, Amber got fed up, so Amber left, and then she turned back around and came back in the room, 
and she like got Jocelyn from behind, but Jocelyn rose up like the hawk and spent around <laughs> and it was some yeah, it was some things, but we ain't, I ain't see. Oh, I, just okay. heard. I think we about to see though. I think that I think, <laughs> that, I think the, the video gonna leak. I got a feeling. Yeah, man. But she said that she had never said that she wasn't black, but indeed we have an audio uh read it. I think it's number three play it for her. I do not consider myself a black woman absolutely not i mean i saw my dad is half irish half italian i do the italian festivals i grew up eating very italian food i celebrate saint patty's day i'm all i'm really into 80s rock i love guns and roses so and then also like my cape verdean side which i don't know that much about it but you know i try to get up on that culture also but i embrace everything that i am i don't feel like i'm more one thing than the other by the way, once again, I don't care what she chooses to yeah, identify as. I don't, as. I don't care who she chooses to represent politically. I got more of a problem with people like Van Jones on CNN talking about uh, she, 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 she's dangerous to Democrats. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think people like, like Joy Ann Reed said, people not getting their political cues from Amber Rose. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. That's what I was saying. Even And we know how little into politics I am, but I still can't believe that this is what we're talking about. Like Amber Rose. Like, was, yeah, like honestly, who cares? She's top, able to the biggest topic yeah. of the political talk right now. Like, what the hell are we talking about? She's not even the top pick, the topic of regular news. How the hell was she in the? <laughs> mm-hmm. It just don't make sense to me. And, but nah. And we are helping to amplify the story by talking about it. But yes, I mean, it's where you know it's something to talk about. But like I said, I just don't think nobody getting their political cues from um, Amber Rose. And if they are, God bless them. Yeah. So what? Yeah. I don't. You know. Yeah, I just meant politically. It's like, what? Yeah. They're talking about this girl like on CNN and all this? Like, what are we talking about? This is for, like, what we do. So, but, the, the Democrats know what they need to do? Yeah. Krishan Rock, baby, at the what? DNC. Let's get it. Krishan <laughs> Rock <laughs> or, or jo- or, at the DNC. Or Biden need to go grab Jocelyn. <laughs> what? You think Jocelyn over Krishan Rock? <laughs> no, Jocelyn. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm take Jocelyn over Krishan Rock. I don't know, know man. Krishan no, Rock, but Krishan you just Rock said, moved that nigga need a different, but different you said, than um, Jocelyn. You said Jocelyn washed it, so that'd be good. Yeah, I'm talking about just because if they need Because it's it, Amber. Amber versus yeah. Jocelyn, you would, you would get Jocelyn. Mm. Krishan, we, we would need Krishan like, to fight. Like, Krishan ain't about to go talk about who to mm. vote for because nothing. Jocelyn, she got a mouthpiece. Like, she can talk. She fight and talk. Mm. So we need that. Okay, okay. Yeah. And I think Krishan is in jail, so. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Able to get her. yeah. But Jocelyn <laughs> might be good for the Latino vote. Okay. Yeah, Latino vote. All right, make some yeah. calls, DNC. <laughs> That's just what to mess with the first time. Y'all better album. not, man. Don't even play like that, because they'll make that call. Oh, Everybody else playing. Why no, we can't play? play. Like Everybody else playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So all y'all doing is playing. She do her speech right from Starless. All right, anyway, when we come back, we got front page news. Morgan Wood will be joining us. And then comedian Keith Robinson will be joining us. He has a new Netflix special, Different Strokes, where he talks about having uh, two strokes and still doing comedy. So we'll talk to him in a little bit. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.